I'm going to show you guys the best way to generate yourself into a high quality image where you can star in any scene you can imagine. You're going to need three things, mid journey, chat GPT and inside face swap. Now inside face swap is essentially a plugin for mid journey. You're going to need it. All you have to do, go to this website. I've put it in the description below. Just scroll down here. There's instructions as well, guys. It's really simple, but you just have to go here, click on this and it will redirect you to mid journey and you just have to add it to a server. It's really simple. Do that first. So for the first step, I've actually created the GPT that you guys can use. I'm going to put it in the description below. But what this essentially will do is it's going to analyze the image of yourself and it's going to describe the person in the image. Now, the GPT has now analyzed the image and it's described my appearance. The individual in the image appears to be a middle aged male, likely in his 30s. He has a medium complexion with a well-groomed beard and moustache. Hair is short, dark, and you get the point, guys. But it's pretty much described me in this image. Now, if we look down here, what it's actually done, it's created the mid-journey prompt based off my description. Now, it's also created the mid-journey prompt for me as well. Now, I'm going to come back to this. Let's go to mid-journey now. All right, so now we're in mid-journey. And if you installed inside FaceWap correctly, you'll see it at the top right here. Now, the first thing you want to do is we want to grab the image of ourselves and we want to go over here where it says save ID. Now, it's going to ask you to upload an image. So what we want to do, we want to go back and upload the exact same image that we used in ChatGPT. We want to name it, just call my name, Danny. And now it's created the ID and it's analyzed that image. All right, so that step's done. Let's now get the mid journey prompt. All right, so now we want to enter the mid journey prompt that ChatGPT generated for us. All right, so this is the first example that it's given us. It looks like some sort of European chef but it's used the description of my appearance in the photo and it's trying to replicate someone that looks like me. Now, I'm not really happy with these prompts and there's a reason why, because none of them sort of have the same hair as me. Hair is very, very important. You wanna make sure that you get the hair perfect. So it hasn't done a good job in prompting me the hair. Now, I'm just gonna show you guys what the inside face swap can do. All right, so what I did is I actually just upscaled the second image and I wanna go over here where you can see the three dots and you wanna click apps and you wanna click in swapper. So what it's actually done, it swapped my face into the image. So now I am some creepy European chef that I don't even know, but it looks a bit weird, but it's just, I just wanted to show you guys what the actual ins, inside face swap it can do. Now let's go back to chat GPT. It already has my description. I want more prompts though. All right, so I went back and forth with the GPT a few times because I wasn't happy with the way it was describing me. Now this one is an example where I think it's described me perfectly and I'm gonna use the same description every single time and then it's gonna provide me the prompt. So this is what it is pretty much. It's going to be a young, handsome Assyrian, handsome of course, <laughs> Assyrian man with a medium olive complexion, smiling, you gotta make sure add smiling, sporting a short stylish haircut and a neat beard. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do every single time at the end, it's going to include every specific scene. Consults his digital tablet as he moves with purpose through the hospital. This one's uh, singing at a rock concert. This one's skiing, skydiving. So I've used the same description prompt every single time, okay? So let's see how they come out. All right, so here's the first example. I'm at like some sort of fashion show. But you can see the beard, the hair. It's getting closer. It's closer to what... I think I would sort of look like. Obviously, it's not exactly me, but we're getting closer to what I would think it would look like. Here's the second example. Obviously, it's not me. It's not my beard. It's not my hair, but looks more Middle Eastern. Here's another example. I'm at, I'm at some sort of chess tournament. This is me just doing some uh, gardening. This is me thinking that I'm hosting some Apple event. This is me on a podcast. And this is me running a marathon. Anyway, you guys get the point. The key is in the description of the person. The closer you can generate an image of someone with the same appearance as you, is gonna make it easier when you do the face swap. It's gonna look more realistic, okay? Now you don't have to use the prompts from ChatGPT. If you can describe yourself, if you can explain what you look like, if you know your ethnicity, you know what you look like, you know, obviously you guys know exactly what you look like. It's easier to describe yourself. Just go in there, enter some information. I'm a 30 year old white man. I'm a 25 year old Asian woman. I'm a 40 year old 
African guy. You're going to have to play around with it, guys, to see what type of prompt best describes you. And I guarantee you, you'll be able to find a really good one. Anyway, that's it for the video, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.